Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and today's presentation is on air pressure. And I have a question for you. Right here's a bobber. I'm going to stick it in this glass filled with water. Now, what do you think would happen if I take this jar, stick it over the bobber, and then push the jar to the bottom of the jar filled with water? Do you think that the bobber will stay on top? Kind of float in the middle or sink to the bottom? Let's find out. First, I assure you that this jar is empty. Look at that. The bobber sinks to the bottom of the jar. Let's try it again. Now let's get a close-up. Tell you what, now let's switch from the bobber to something a little more challenging. What do you think will happen to this tissue if I stick it in the jar and then submerge the jar into the other jar filled with water? Do you think that this tissue is wet or do you think that this tissue is dry? Let's get a close-up. The tissue's dry. How can that be? How is it possible that if I take an empty glass cylinder, put it over a bobber, and then submerge the cylinder into a glass filled with water, does the bobber sink? Or, if I take that same cylinder, put a piece of paper in it, and then submerge that cylinder into a glass filled with water that the paper stays dry. Well, it has to do with air. Although that cylinder looks empty, it actually is not. It is filled with air. And since the jar is filled with air, water can't move into it. And since the air is lighter than the water, the air can't move out. 